morning guys, Shane here. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. I think today is Friday, I'm kidding. So, <clears throat> today you might hear a little extra noise, they're having some kind of company picnic here where I'm filming this video this morning. Okay, so the next chord that we're gonna learn today is gonna be a C sharp minor, okay? Now again, this is gonna be a bar chord but we also have our handy dandy cape hold with us, right? So let's make sure we're using it. And I'll show you guys how to do it, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this this morning and get this going for y'all. Um, if you're enjoying these lessons, you know, leave some comments or just, you know, hit the like button, you know, that kind of makes me feel like I'm doing something. Um, and also, if you're actually wanting to hear some of my actual music that I do, you can go to ReverbNation.com. That's ReverbNation.com backslash Shane Wilbanks. And that will give you, uh, I, I don't know, I've probably got like maybe over 20 different songs on there. So some are original, some are covers. Um, and just go in there and give it a listen and see what you think about it, you know. Again, you know, it's free to listen to because I'm not charging anything for those. Um, only if you go to iTunes, you can buy the music off iTunes if you like it. But you can also download it as well from Reverb Nation. Um, the quality is not quite as good downloading it that way if you, unless you bought it on iTunes. But really, it doesn't matter. As long as the music gets listened to, that's all I do it for. I'm not trying to get rich off of it. So, and that's the mentality everybody needs to kind of have sometimes, I think. Just do things for fun and don't do it for gain. So, we're going to jump right into this though, okay? So, again, cape holes start out with your first finger. We're going to go to the fourth fret today, okay? And we're going to lay again over all five strings, leaving the top E kind of muted. If you take your just the tip of your finger off your first finger and put it slightly above right there, you'll mute your top string. So you lay your first finger across all five strings, and you're gonna take your second finger, you're gonna to go to your B string, fifth fret. You're gonna take your ring finger or third finger and go to your sixth fret on the D string, and then you're going to go with your fourth finger over to your G string. That's gonna give you your C sharp minor chord. simply lift up your second finger now it becomes a C sharp so she's C sharp minor C sharp so let's go through that again where you're gonna put your fingers over all five strings fourth fret second finger B string fifth fret third finger D string sixth fret and then your final fourth finger is gonna go on your G string sixth fret, and it's gonna give you a C sharp minor. Now, we're gonna to jump to our capo. To the folks who think, you know, we're just wanting to make it an easier way to do this. Okay, if you will capo your guitar on your fourth fret, put it on your fourth fret, Okay, and we go back now to our basic chords that we learned at the very beginning of these lessons. Okay, we are going to make a A minor chord. Okay, now again, remember your K pole literally acts like your open string notes up here, okay? So when you're putting your fingers here, remember where your A minor was, which was over here on the first fret? B string, second fret D string, third or second fret G string. And that gave you your A minor position. You're going to do the same position here, and that's going to give you your C sharp minor. See? No difference. Except it makes your fingers a little bit easier, okay? Now, to go and make that the actual C sharp, just pick up your first finger. 
or you can lay your fourth finger down make an A chord which makes it a full C sharp okay so again we're gonna go back to our C sharp minor just like an A minor position and then the C sharp Then you put it together with a song. Yeah, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get the song building eventually. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Um, again, hit likes if you liked it. Give me some comments on what you guys would like to see, what you'd like to hear. Um, and again, go check out my uh, page on Reverb Nation. And as soon as I have my actual website up, then my guitar lessons and stuff will start going there, as well as my actual music videos. So you guys just play. You know, enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Sorry I'm stumbling over my words today. I'm just kind of, I don't know, just full of excitement for some reason in the day, and I'm kind of like that. So, um, remember, you're a good person. God bless you, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.